Welcome to XM.com for the Daily Market Comment by Mario Sachkiriakos. I'm Cristina Marujos. A bad month for the U.S. dollar keeps getting worse. The reserve currency fell through some crucial support levels across multiple charts yesterday, and negative technical momentum has dominated ever since. The dollar's troubles seem based on three pillars. Receding bets for a Fed rate increase next year, the acceleration in European vaccinations, and the overall euphoric mood in equity markets. The Fed has been adamant lately that it will keep a steady hand, forcing traders to wind back the aggressive pricing for rate increases. Meanwhile, Europe has finally ramped up its immunization program, leading markets to recalibrate their expectations for economic growth. The question is how much of this narrative is already priced in and whether there's scope for euro dollar to power even higher. While the technical wind is blowing in the pair's favor right now, it's doubtful that this dynamic can last for long in an environment where America outrecovers Europe. The Fed will be faced with some scorching data soon and might be boxed into talking about QE tapering by next quarter already, something the European Central Bank won't do for a long time. Interestingly enough, it was the British pound that capitalized the most on the dollar's pain. Cable rose to hit the psychological region of $140, even without any UK-specific news. On the bright side, the UK economy has almost fully reopened and about 60% of the adult population has received at least one vaccination shot. However, most people have received the Oxford Astra shot, which is less effective against new variants, implying that Britain's immunization program is not quite as bulletproof as America's. Elsewhere, Wall Street hit a speed bump yesterday, with the major equity indices retreating a shade from their record peaks. Overall, it appears market participants are taking some chips off the table as the earnings season gets rolling. Optimism is running very high, and the earnings outlook has likely been priced to perfection at these stratospheric levels, so anything less than absolutely stellar results might be seen as a negative surprise. All eyes will be on the string of earnings results that will be released today, most notably from Netflix, Johnson & Johnson, and Lockheed Martin. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thank you for watching at XM.com.